How about you and hello everyone and welcome to the 8th episode of the Rolling Stock of California. In this series, I look at all the various kinds of rolling stock used in my home state of California. In this 8th episode, I'll be looking over the history and use of the Siemens DeZero. So, let's get started. Our story starts in the 1990s. San Diego's North County Transit District, more commonly known as just NCTD, had purchased the Santa Fe's San Diego trackage, which includes San Onofre to downtown San Diego and Oceanside to Escondido. NCTD established their commuter rail, Coaster, in 1995, running from Oceanside to San Diego. However, NCTD had their eye on the Escondido branch they had. The initial proposal for the Escondido service was very similar to how the project was today. It was to use the existing Santa Fe trackage with added stations along the way, and rather than use locomotives and cars like Coaster, the plan was to use diesel-powered DMUs. As time went on and the train sets were chosen, it was found out that they were something completely new to the United States. This service was to use almost entirely unmodified Siemens DeZero Classic train sets. The way NCTD was able to get away with not having Siemens modify these train sets in any major way was the fact that this new service was to act more as a light rail than a commuter rail, meaning it didn't have to comply with Federal Railroad Administration rules. NCTD bought 12 Siemens to Zero train sets and eventually the new service, which was dubbed Sprinter, was finally completed and opened on March 7, 2008. The Siemens DeZero Classic was entered into service in the state of California in 2008. It has a top speed of 100 miles per hour but was limited to 50 in service, has a max horsepower of around 422 horsepower, and utilizes a set of man engines for traction. The NCTD Siemens DeZeros were numbered 4001 through 4012. Once Sprinter began service, the 12 to zeros were seemingly operating normally. That was until just days before the service's five-year anniversary in 2013. In the first week of March 2013, it was discovered that the center truck brake rotors on the cars had excessive wear. This center brake was not in the original design of the Zeros developed in Germany, but to meet California Public Utility Commission's regulations for braking on a light rail vehicle, a third brake had to be added to the center truck where the rail car was articulated. These parts were not the same as the brakes on the other trucks of the rail car, and due to the fact that these parts were not in production, NCTD would have to specially order new center brakes for all 12 DMUs. Soon enough, the California PUC discovered that the NCTD engineer in charge of maintenance operations knew about the wear and tear since 2009, along with the Bombardier hired maintenance employees. The engineer in charge had requested for new parts in 2009, finally getting response in 2012, with him being told that the new order would take 44 weeks or a little under a year. After learning this, the engineer in charge suspiciously retired from NCTD the same day the PUC discovered the wear and tear. This also comes on top of the fact that the PUC did not always physically inspect the rail cars. Rather, they had only requested for maintenance records, most of the time meaning that the PUC basically just trusted that everything was okay, even though it really wasn't. This all led to Sprinter service being fully suspended on March 8, 2013, quite literally a day after the service's fifth anniversary. Service remained halted until May 18, 2013, in which the issue was finally fixed, leading to Sprinter service continuing smoothly for the next few years. But then, of course, came 2020 and the pandemic. Like most companies, NCTD had to lay off a ton of employees, a good few of which were maintenance employees who worked on the Siemens DeZeros. If you remember anything from my various videos on the Siemens chargers, you'd know that new European equipment requires a lot of time and energy to keep working well without issue. It is rumored that after the DeZeros were sat doing nothing for months seeing little to no attention from employees, they deteriorated faster than Siemens and NCTD had expected. DeZeros began dropping left and right from issue after issue, and eventually it got to the point where NCTD only had three DeZeros operating out of the 12 they had. Train cancellations and delays were ever-present, which has left NCTD scrambling for an early replacement to the DeZeros. NCTD anticipated to replace the DeZeros in 2035, so the sudden influx of issues was not what they were expecting in the slightest. 
Currently, the Siemens Zeros are operating a bit better, but it's obvious that their days on Sprinter are limited. NCTD still doesn't have all the DMUs in service, and a replacement is still quite far off. So, for now, let's just hope that the Zeros keep kicking for just a bit longer so that Sprinter service doesn't crumble entirely. But, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this 8th episode of The Rolling Stock of California. Stay tuned for next episode where I'll look over the Stadler Flirt and Kiss EMUs. So, I was 5008 Creations, you were the viewer, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye.